good morning students in continuation of the nutrient management next one is the fertilizers okay fertilizers we know that fertilizers are the chemical substance okay or uh, inorganic or salt or inorganic compound it is the source of the plant nutrients manufactured commercially from the chemicals okay inorganic materials uh, the fertilizers that makes the soil fertile uh, they are generally inorganic materials or salt containing uh, nitrogen and then uh, some other things okay nitrogen or potassium or any chemical compounds it is uh, used for the good vegetative growth okay it gives the, to the healthy plants the major component for obtaining higher yield it contains the higher amount of the nutrition in comparison to the manus okay used in the very small quantities so then the types of the fertilizers there will be a four types of fertilizer is the one is the nitrogenous fertilizers urea ammonium sulfate ammonium nitrate these are all the nitrogenous fertilizers phosphatic fertilizer is the single super phosphate triple super phosphate and then potassium fertilizers are the potassium chloride potassium nitrate complex fertilizers are the nitro phosphate and then potassium nitrate so these are all the types of the fertilizers and then advantages of the fertilizer what are all the advantages is that okay normally the fertilizers are used to ensure the high vegetative growth in order to produce the healthy plants okay so it requires the small quantity there will be you no know, much quantity for the farmers it requires the small quantity hence uh, it can be easily stored and then transported it is a nutrient specific that provide the npk as per the requirement example npk I already told you nitrogen phosphorus and then potassium okay so if the plant need the nitrogen we can uh, directly give the nitrogen okay it is a nutrient specific specifically we can give the nutrients okay then it is easily soluble in water it is a uh, easily soluble in water and then if the fertilizer is easily soluble in the water what happen uh, along with the water the plant observe the what is it fertilizers okay so the chemical fertilizers are differ from the manure it is easily by observed by the plant it is uh, totally differ from the manures okay so these are all the advantages of the fertilizers and then disadvantages of the fertilizers same disadvantages what are all the disadvantages is that it pollute the water bodies how it pollute the water bodies so the chemicals what happens the chemicals washed away uh, due to the excessive of it may be the excessive of irrigation or uh, raining or any other purpose okay so and then it is uh, not fully absorbed by the plants okay by the irrigation or any other things so what happens the irrigated the washed away uh, chemicals or uh, goes to the rivers and finally it reach the rivers or lakes or any other water bodies okay directly it produce the water bodies then uh, it destroy the soil fertility and then soil microorganism if you are using the continuously if, if you using the chemical fertilizer what happens there will be a drastic changes in the soil okay so normally if the soil gets the fertility is totally destroyed okay and then uh, the soil microorganism get affected because of this is the chemical substance okay the soil microorganism totally destroyed and then uh, it increase the biological bod biological oxygen demand what is biological oxygen demand okay so it increases uh, uh, water normally if the water consisting of the many animals that animals directly affect the oxygen demand okay so this causes the harm to aquatic animals it may be the like uh, fish or aquatic plants each and everything uh, need the oxygen okay it uh, so reduce the oxygen content in the water so that level is called as the eutrophication what do you mean by the eutroph sometimes they will ask the three more question eutrophication eutrophication is the excessive of uh, a chemical substance that is stored in the water bodies and it leads to the biological oxygen demand that is called as the eutrophication okay so these are all the things advantages of the fertilizers okay the next one is the there will be a difference between the fertilizer and the manures is that we know that natural substance man made substance a uh, small amount of essential plant nutrients rich amount of rich uh, plant nutrients and then organic matter inorganic matter humus is added in the manure humus is not added and then nutrients are present and it is slowly absorbed by the crop plants and then directly after 
not nutrient specific nutrient specific and then difficult to store and transport easily store and transport and then cheap and then can be prepared at home but it is very costly prepared in the factories okay the next one is the organic farming uh, we know that uh, nowadays uh, the many trending organic uh, based upon this uh, organic farm so organic farming is the farming system with a minimal or no use of chemical as a fertilizer herbicides pesticides okay without using the chemical things the plant produces the uh, maximum uh, it in uh, give the yield okay so with the maximum input of the organic manures recycled farm waste or use of bio agents such as the culture of blue green algae in preparation of the bio fertilizer neem leaves or turmeric specifically in grain storage as bio pesticides with a healthy cropping system okay so normally nowadays there is a new system farming okay used to produce the food and then fiber so these organic with the help of the organic manures uh, organic uh, bio, uh, biological agents and then without using the chemicals they are producing the varieties okay that is a uh, organic farming so the organic uh, farming uh, is a uh, different uh, things is there there will be advantages uh, what are all the main advantages toxin free food the human beings or any thing get the toxin free food now we are eating the different types of the fruits and then uh, uh, vegetables so that consisting the toxin okay uh, if you are if they eat the organic food that the organic food is a toxin free food what is toxin free food organic food is a uh, safe to consume and then it is a uh, contains no or significantly lower levels of the pesticides residue okay then controls pest and weeds the cropping system are beneficial in insect pest and then weed control besides providing the nutrients environment friendly or eco friendly okay and then uh, the recycling uh, it maintains the fertility of the soil and then it develop the soil organism these are all the things advantages of the uh, what is it organic farming okay thank you